Trackmania Nations Forever is a free racing game available on Steam. It's an entry in the series that aims to push people from around the world to play Trackmania. This game does have a paid version, but I am showcasing the free one, so you know what you will get if you download it. This is, as you've probably guessed, the main menu. Let's get into some of the features. Play Solo is what it says, a place to play alone and unlock new tracks only playable in solo mode. Play Online allows you to compete against others and play with your friends who are in different places on different internet connections. Party Play lets you play with others who are on the same keyboard of your computer or on LAN. Don't use the Explorer, it's horrible. As for the editors, I'll get to those in a bit. Finally, your profile is just your personal Trackmania info. It's nothing special. Now let's get to the gameplay. When you hear racing game, you probably think of one of two things, Mario Kart or Forza. This game is more akin to the second, but with some differences. For one thing, the game takes place in a large stadium. The tracks were all built inside the stadium, and rather than racing through the outdoors, it feels very NASCAR-y. Normally that would turn me away from a game, but instead of doing endless passes of a short course, most of the tracks are diverse, and are only played as much as you want. You have five options for difficulty. White, green, blue, red, and black. The black level tracks are locked until you've completed some very challenging goals, and they are the hardest tracks in the game. Assuming you are not used to PC racing games, you should probably start with the white levels. As you can see, only five of these tracks are playable. This is because in Trackmania Nations Forever, you have to unlock the majority of the levels. For example, to play tracks 6 through 10 of a rank, you have to get a certain medal on tracks 1 through 5. The medals are simply earned by finishing under a certain time. The actual racing in this game is quite fun, and I found it really easy to control as well. You use the arrow keys for control, and while some people may not like that, I find it works better than it would with WASD. If you don't like it, you can change it in the options. Now before we talk about the online play this game is known for, we first need to talk about the editors. This game has two track editors. Much like any other game's level editor, these allow you to create and share your own tracks, fully playable in-game. The simple editor is for people who don't need a perfect track. If you just want to feel the satisfaction of having made a track, and you don't mind it being a big square spiral, then this is for you. I use the advanced editor when I make tracks. It may look a bit confusing at first, but as you continue to make tracks, you can rival the quality of the real game. It gets a lot better. The reason I need to show these off is that 1. They are an integral part of the game, and 2. You can only play player-made tracks online. With that said, let's move on to the online play. To play online with this game, you have to do a couple of things. First, click play online from the main menu. Then, assuming you've just started playing the game now, you want to click all. This will give you a list of servers throughout the entire world. You're going to want to choose one of the first ones, preferably with a, with a white number. I'm not sure what they mean, but I'm pretty sure that if it's red, it's bad, so just click one. Look at the player list. If there's no one listed under players, don't play. You'll just be racing pointlessly against no one. It doesn't save your times, so it's kind of useless. After that, just click join. It'll do this, it'll load, and it'll throw you into the server. The online mode in this game is usually weird as crap. There are people who make up their own game modes, hosting their own servers, but since they host them through the Trackmania servers, anyone can join. They can't make it private. So, the result is weird as crap tracks made by weird as crap people with either really good design skills or sick, twisted eh, in their head. You never know really what you're going to get. For example, there's no time attack mode in the game. That's what solo mode's for. Somehow, I'm playing time attack mode. It's called time attack mode. The game gave me an official looking message about it when I joined the server. But it doesn't exist. I'm playing it against French people, and Brazilian people, and German people, and one Dutch guy. And I think that's Brazil. I don't even know. I don't even know. I have played a lot of this online, and I still definitely haven't seen everything, and I still don't know how to use the in-game chat. 
No one else uses it, but I'm pretty sure it exists, because one time I saw some guy say hi, so if you figure that out, just um, leave a comment, I guess. Anyway, before I go crazy trying to beat my time, I'd better leave. Let's, let's finish this up. Trackmania Nations Forever is a great racing game that I think everyone should at least try. If you have a PC, sorry, it's not for Mac or Linux. Mm. If you have a PC computer running Windows XP or higher, you should definitely check it out. It's free on Steam, and Steam in itself is free. Easy to play, easy to do, very fun. Overall, Trackmania Nations Forever gets a 9 Dutch guys out of 10.